Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to my brand new gaming channel, Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Now, if you've been kind of seeing some of my earlier videos, um, I'm going to be taking those down because I bought a new microphone. Uh, so hopefully I get a little bit better sound quality, but since I'll be taking those down, I'm going to just kind of redo the, the three videos I had up, not that there's a lot. So a little bit of history about myself to begin with. I have been gaming my entire life. I have played everything from N64 forward. Uh, I've spent a lot of time with city building, simulation management games. I also enjoy shooters, played a lot of Call of Duty in high school when Modern Warfare 2 was out. I enjoy a little bit of everything. So my plan with this channel is hopefully to play a little bit of everything. Now you can see the first game we will be playing is Meeple Station. My plan is to do a eh, maybe five or six videos, get some feedback from everyone. I got two or three other games on the docket that I want to play. One older, I think it came out in 2006. That's more of a real-time strategy game. And then the third one, I'm not quite sure what I'll do yet, but my goal is to get three videos up, or excuse me, three games with about four or five videos and then kind of go from there. Uh, the goal for the channel is not for it to be massive or anything like that, really just uh, this is kind of a creative outlet for me. Hopefully I get some positive feedback, like I said, from everyone, maybe engage with some people. Um, you know, if people want to do some online stuff playing together, uh, I'm trying to maybe get into some D&D &D here soon. Uh, so just let me know what you guys want to do, and we'll jump right here into Meeple Station. Now, uh, there hasn't been a lot of Let's Plays about this. Um, it's kind of a indie game, as you can see. So we're going to start playing here. So let's go to New Game. Now, I haven't played much. I played the three videos. Like I said, I'm going to be taking down here as I record new ones, and I have played the tutorials. So overall, I think I've got about three hours and maybe three and a half hours. So we're going to jump into the campaign here, and we got a couple different modes here. And since I don't want to embarrass myself in my first video, let's go with mild and hop on in. I'm not going to talk why this goes, so you guys can watch it. All right, so let's hop on in. So for those of you that don't know, this is kind of a space station building and management game. It's a little cartoony. Graphics are not, um, you know, super high end, but uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I like the aesthetic behind it. So let's go ahead and look around the screen here. We're going to go to this thing flashing here first. Um, so um, it wants us to build a, a space station, and these are the basics you need to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Uh, solar panels for your power, big batteries, all the way down to food and a docking clamp so other ships can dock with you uh, as you can see here on the right as well you can have a 32 level space station 
Uh, we're going to start all the way on the bottom floor, so let me do that. And then these are just toggle your walls. You can toggle your grid on and off. I will have that grid on while we're starting to build the station, but I'll turn it off in the rest of the videos. And then if we need a zoom, you can also zoom in and out with the mouse button. Over here is your time. And then uh, once we get going and we get guards, we'll have ways to control our guards for the space station. If we need to destroy anything, we can do that. Start the game, we don't need to do that. Uh, if you play a lot, you can save blueprints, whether it be of an entire station or maybe just a room or design you like, and you can use that there. Um, in addition to building rooms, and you can see here, it's broken down into four category structures. So this is your floors, walls, ladder, your docking clamp, things like that. Modules is the stations that the meeples, your people, will be using. Got a little bit of everything from medical supply to a fish tank that generates food to start. Furniture, this is where you're going to get some decorations, some things you're going to use, like the suit rack where your meeples can put on a spacesuit and go outside. There's the container for storage. You know, this desk is just for decorative stuff, beds. And then lastly, power and fuel. In addition to all that, you do have to worry about your utilities. So you got regular oxygen energy or electricity advanced electricity water poo and uh, gas so if when you start to build your own shuttles you can fuel those up so let's go ahead and start building our station here and i'm going to go off the cheap stuff the the graded hall uh, it's just simple and cheap aluminum you could also do steel uh, it's five credits more we start with 8250 credits to build so let's kind of go about in the middle here and like I said I played a little bit so I kind of already know the design I want to do um, I'm gonna go five by five five by five there we go and we're gonna put a ladder in this corner and then we're gonna go up a level and we're gonna do another five by five and we're gonna do a ladder and then we're gonna go up a level and another five by five to start here with the ladder all right, so let's go back down to this first floor. And this first floor, I want it to mainly be for um, kind of some of the passive things. So we got our oxygen generators here. And we're going to put, let's do three of them. And I'm going to leave here this middle tile, the third tile, open so I can build hallways as we expand. And then we're going to put oxygen tanks here and here. And then we're going to need, um, so the rock crusher is passive, as you can see there. Uh, it will grind ores in that for us. I'm going to put this down here as well. And we're going to tuck that right there. And we are also going to put a trash bin down here, or a waste bin down here. Um, and then we need a, a ice processor for water. And we're going to put one here one here and then two storage tanks for water oh here they are so we'll put one here and then one there so that's really going to complete our first floor and i'll come back for the utilities and that the only other thing we might need down here is an air vent and we'll just tuck that let's tuck that right here and then we're going to go up to our second floor and we're going to put a waste bin here, put an air vent here, um, and let's put some of more of our processes that need our meeples involved. So we'll start with a refinery. This allows them to uh, create components. There's like batteries and electronics and things like that that they need to build for us. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to put a smelter here so they can smelt the ores so that we can use them. And then we're also going to put a research desk here. And that's really everything we're going to put down on this floor. Now we'll add some stuff down here eventually too. Let's go up one floor. Actually, you know what? No, let's build our power down here. So I'm going to put three batteries right here. And then we use this rigging. Uh, yeah, we got more room to expand over here. So we're going to go one, two out for the rigging. And then we're going to do a five by two solar cell. Actually, let's do five by three. Okay, so now we got power and we'll have to wire all that. And then this top floor is gonna be our main floor where our meeples are gonna eat, kind of hang out. Um, let's start with some bathrooms. Where are the bathrooms at? Modules, restroom, bathroom. 
one there, one there. And then we'll put these waste ejectors because the poo has to be launched out into space. Eventually we'll use the poo for other things, but we won't need that yet. And then just for some privacy, let's do this. And take some graded hall wall, go across like that, go like that, go like that. And then we'll put some doors there too. So they're kind of double locked. Boom and boom. Uh, yeah, I know about trade docs. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then over here is where we are going to put our trading stuff. So let's put this here and then we're going to do airlock. And I got to put a wall there. Sorry. Wall. Airlock. So they can go in and out now and we'll put a bulkhead here so that when they go out this door, instead of the air being sucked out of the entire station, it's just gonna be sucked out of this one cube. And we'll put an air vent here and a waste bin here. And then we're also going to build, this needs to go out ever so slightly. Uh, where do I wanna put that? Actually, no, we're gonna put it off over here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and we're gonna put our docking clamp here so ships that are coming into trade of us can come out. And then we're also going to build our kitchen over here as well. Let's do that. And then we'll put up a wall, do, 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 and a door right here. In our kitchen, we are going to put the fish tank, because the fish tank's gonna allow us to generate fish, which is our kind of base level, and then a kitchen. Now we won't need the kitchen to start, but I wanna put it down now, because uh, it just saves time. So we'll put that there. And then we're gonna put a dining room off on the other side, here. And then the dining room needs to be a little bit bigger, like that. How are we doing on mine? 2,000, we're doing pretty good. So furniture, we need a suit rack, so we'll put our suit rack over here. And then let's put a table down here and then some chairs. There's the chairs I want. So one, two, three, four. So now we kind of got some chairs so they can eat and we will also need a vending machine. So let's put a vending machine right there so they can get food out of that. And now we need beds. Now I know we're gonna start with five meeples so I'm gonna go ahead and make five bedrooms for us and again it's going to go off like this do that so the the issue we're going to run into actually let's do let's do this where's my delete button salvage do 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 let's go let's go up a level and we're going to build our five by five square ladder waste bin O2 structure this in the middle here we go so then let's do three by three rooms so that'll be one room that'll be two rooms three rooms four rooms five rooms and six rooms so let's put some walls up now. So hallway, hallway, like that. Two, three, like that, like that, and like that. So we got six rooms to start. Put some doors in. How are we doing on money? We're gonna be a little tight on money. Furniture, and then we'll give everyone a nice bed. And then for a little bit of aesthetic, we'll put a lamp. Let me put the lamp by the door. And as we get going, we can add more aesthetics to the, the game if we wanted. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good start to a station. Um, let's go down here. I'm gonna add some additional storage, just a small container for storage here. So we got some more storage and that's it. You can see we have all of our green marks, so we're good to go there. We've got our passive stuff, air, water. 
we've got stuff to refine and melt and our electricity research a little bit of storage food bathroom ability to go out ability to trade and then on the fourth floor our sleeping quarters so let's go ahead and wire everything up so let's go to utilities and we'll start on the first floor you can see each utility has its own color so oxygen is the white so we'll connect that and then we need to come over here and connect that and that's going to run all the way up as you can see that's connecting all of our air vents so we're pretty good there so let's go ahead and hook up our power and we'll connect that like that we are at 29 credits we got to be careful here folks because i overspent that and that 24 credits all right so then we got to connect our vending machine connect those to that and connect that so that's our power that's connected water we need to connect our water Ooh, water's kind of expensive okay so we're gonna have to delete some stuff huh all right let's go up to the fourth floor and we're gonna go salvage and let's get rid of these lamps yeah we're gonna get rid of these lamps get some of that money back there all right and then back to utilities and we were doing water and we'll have that come over like that and that can come down and we're gonna go down the ladder down this, this floor and down here so that connects there that connects that and we'll connect that so there we go we got all that connected now and then the last thing we need to connect is our feces our poo so you can see those are connected like that so that's good there so we just need to connect that like that and that is all good to go everything is wired up and we got 16 credits to spare so that is um, pretty tight, but we did it. Oxygen. Yep, that's all like that. See, advanced electricity we don't need. Water we got hooked up. Power. Did I not hook power up? Oh, I didn't hook up the gantry. All right, let's hook up the gantry. Doot, doot, doot. There we go. So that's hooked up now. 12 credits to spare, even tighter. But that's okay. That's telling me the poo's not hooked up. So let's hook up the poo to that. How much is that? Six? Oof. One, two. Okay, so we need six, 12, 18, 24, 30. We need 30 credits from somewhere. What else could we delete? Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna delete this waste bin here. Salvage, there we go, perfect. Utilities, poo. All right, now we are good to go. I don't see anything flashing. As you can see, when you highlight over the rooms, it says we're at 32% oxygen. That's just as the, the vents are releasing air. So that's good to go. We got all green check marks there. And let's go ahead and start the game. We're going to start by picking our meeples. I am not going to mess with anything. I'm going to hit random once, and those are the meeples we're going to work with. I think that makes the game a little bit more fun instead of making that perfect crew. You know, if we do another playthrough, maybe we'll make the perfect crew and see the the differences between the two. So I'm gonna click random, and our five initial starting meeples will be Wool, Muskrat, Spare Rib, Marmalade, and Halibut. However, I'm going to change, I think Wool, you're gonna get a new name, my friend, and your name will be Toothbud, our fearless leader. So let's go ahead and click start. And of course, our captain's name will be Toothbud. And our faction name will be Tooth and Scrubs. And the station name will be, let's go Tooth One. Confirm. All right, so that's populating everything in. The Eagle has landed. Welcome aboard Tooth One Station, Captain Toothbud. I'm Flight Director Chug for the Tooth and Scrubs and I'll be your main contact on the ground. Please just call me Chug. Good to know you, Chug. First things first, we've set, set you up with enough supplies to hopefully support your crew until you can get self-sufficient. Make sure you assign a miner and get yourself a health, healthy reserve of ice as soon as possible 
as, as meepily possible. Wow, a little pun there. Oxygen containing environments are well liked by crew members. Well, I like oxygen too, so I can't complain too much. And transmission. All right, well, I think we're gonna end that there. It was great to kind of get our station built. We got our people up here. Um, in the next episode, we'll assign people to some bedrooms and get some of the basics of things going on for our station. So I hope to see you guys next time. And thank you so much for watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Bye.